It had been 24 days and I had been coughing chronically for the entire span of those 24 days. And it had got to the point it was so bad, I, I felt like maybe I was dying. And I'm sitting there trying to get myself together just to go and do an appointment. And I can't even hardly catch my breath. Now, I had gone to two separate doctors, set two other appointments that I was scheduled to go to. I'm doing everything I possibly can taking all types of vitamins. I don't know what's going on, but this illness that's attacking my body is literally messing with me, not only physically, but my head space is off. And I can't seem to figure out if this is real or maybe I just don't deserve life anymore. I lost faith. And I put on a song that I recall my mom coming and playing for me when I was going through such a dark time in my life. I mean, the darkest period I can I probably even point to. I was going through so many legal battles and feeling like I had lost faith again at that point. She came and played this song and it was so small but so monumental in my life at the time. It's called I Need You Now by Smokey Norville. And she put this song on and for some reason it was just what I needed to get that strength to just move a little bit further that day. And that's what I needed that morning. That's what I needed. And I put that song on and Immediately, my eyes began to well up with tears, and I was reflecting back on that time, and I put it on repeat, and I played it over and over and over and over and over again. And in the song, he says, In you, Lord, I know I have the victory. And I just started claiming victory over this illness that was attacking my body saying, get behind me, Satan. I will be victorious. And I, I just kept claiming victory. Before I knew it, that shortness of breath I was having began to fill into my lungs. That chest tightness that I was starting to get began to relax a little bit more. I made my way up to taking a shower and putting on my clothes and it's praise and worship the entire time through. And just like that, it's like God began to restore something in me that I had lost. Because not only did I feel like I was losing my health, see, I lost my belief in myself. I was losing my faith. And God stepped right in and said, because you are now praising my name, then I'm going to restore you fully. So I went on my appointment later that day. And I'm sitting there just riding back, thinking about how good God has been what he's done in such a short time. And I had been seeking these doctors and these medicines and these vitamins and all these other things. And my strength was in him. And I thought to myself, why did he attack my neck, my throat? Just like that, God answered and said, because, Horace, see, I gave you a voice. Maybe I didn't give you a voice for singing or, or, or yodeling or glee club or 
or rapping. I gave you a voice to effect change in other people. And you have manipulated that voice to pierce other people, not in a good way, but in a negative way, time and time again. And I knew that if you would not use my voice for glory, then you would lose it. You see, in order for me to get your attention, I had to take the talent that I gave to you and said, if you do not use it, you will lose it. And that's what led me to the day. Give me my testimony about why it is that I wanted to or what was on my heart to say what you are today. Is that if you do not use his talent for glory, what he has given you, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, maybe not even this year, but eventually you will lose it. I pray that every person that hears this message finds some level of restoration in whatever you're dealing with and that you're able to turn that around towards his goodness and his glory. I thank you if you're taking the time to listen to this message. Be blessed. Be encouraged. Stay faithful, my good people.